this path. It's covered. Morning. Good morning. Lanternfly nymphs all over the place here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. So what do they look like? Uh, oh, man. I've just got about four of them here. Are they the little red things? Yeah, here we go. They almost look like, almost look like ladybugs. Okay. So he's at second stage nymphs. So there's black and white ones and then these red and white ones. Okay. So, yeah. There's one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now I know what to step on. There you go. There's uh they look just like this except they're uh there's ones that look uh black with the white spots also. Okay. They're a little smaller. Yeah, the red ones here caught my eye. Yeah. In the bottom loop like Yeah. Mm -hmm. So spotted lantern flies have uh, really taken hold in Pennsylvania. Uh, there's a couple different stages early in the spring and over the winter. You were looking for their uh, egg sacs and egg masses on trees. Um, right now we're in the uh, late black nymph stage to early uh, red nymph stage. Um, that's where we are right now in the middle of July. All right, just recruited two people in my campaign here to take out these lanternfly nymphs, invasive species from uh, Asia. Uh, man, last uh, fall, the kids and I went on a crusade against them in the backyard. I just kept fly swatters outside whenever they'd come home from school. Remember school? Kids used to go there. And... Uh, Man, kids used to take out five or six each. They came home at different times. We'd get 20 to 30 a day between the four of us. But this is the first time I've seen the nymphs, these uh, red ones. I've seen some, you know, on tree bands and stuff that have been trapped in or are dying. But um, yeah, kill those lantern flies, man. They destroy trees. They basically deposit a mold on the trees that eventually kills the trees so they stand out on this uh, gray gravel path here anyway I was getting the camera out to say good morning uh, doing a little hike here this is Noel Dorwart Park in East uh, Hemfield Hemfield Township here again I got to pick the kids up from camp middle of the day still looking for these buggers They have a big first grasshopper-like leap, like the adults, but then it takes them a second to recover, so you can get them as soon as they land. And I'm just grinding them into the gravel here. <laughs> anyway, uh, no Dorward Park, kind of, uh, it's in the middle of civilization, but you can kind of get lost here. Uh, the loop around the park is about a mile, mile and a quarter, but there's, uh, three trails that cross the park. So I'm doing my version of uh, Herbie's, uh, you know, named after Herb Brooks. The 80 Olympic team, we, uh, I'll basically do the first short loop. Then I'll go back in and I'll do the slightly longer loop, then the third longest loop, and then the fourth longest loop. So again, 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 and, uh, That'll come out to about three miles, maybe more. So, nice little like, wetlands path here. There's a woods path. And there's a stream you can go down by the railroad trestle. I'll show you that then. Getting to the end of the first loop here. Hopefully I won't have to stop and murder much more, but, but I will. on the southeast uh, corner of the largest loop here. There's a little uh, spur trail 
um, just about a tenth of a mile, but it's called the Trestle Trail, and it's under this uh, awesome uh, railroad bridge, active railroad bridge. A little annoying to be here when it's when it's rocking, but uh, yeah, used to be a brick company down here. They use the uh, railroad bridge. Awesome little stream. Stream runs across the whole backside of this uh, park here. Hello. northeast edge of the park uh, is the trail that comes out here crosses a little bridge and you end up behind the uh, Wegmans uh, complex on uh, Harrisburg Pike uh, in Lancaster so through the trees up there you can see there's a hotel and such up there um, usually walk up there a little crunch for time today but you can also cross Harrisburg Pike up there and go into Long's Park, um, which is nice. There's a kind of a pond gazebo situation there, so they just kind of developed and extended the trail back that way. Um, I'm gonna keep doing my last Herbie loop here, see if there's any more lantern flies to kill, and uh, head out of here. Short one today, I think I'm mowing the lawn this afternoon, so. I'll get some more action then. Yep. I'm up to 16 kills right now. Seventeen. Eighteen. Not counting them unless I see a body. I do have a quick first uh, leap. Nineteen. Trying to take them out. Uh, 20. Yeah, 20. Trying to take them out uh, by stepping on them kind of head first. Oh man. 21. 22. 23. One was uh, sitting on my foot there. Turn this off so I can focus here. All right, so just finished up uh, all the little over three miles here. Um, my tally on the lantern flies was 58 after I turned that camera off. There's so many of them. So 58 today. I'm gonna report uh, this to, uh, there's a link to Penn State. I'll try and put it in my comments here. Penn State's running a whole thing against lantern flies, so. Try and get that in there and report that and report it to actually the township too. They could get some tree bands on this. Take care of them. They're only in one little section of the park that I saw. So, head to the parking lot now. Thanks for joining me on my 
thought it was just going to be a nice little three mile hike, but it turns out it was a murder spree. Uh, it's so fun, so satisfying. Uh, those insects are so invasive. Um, gotta take them out. Just gotta take them out. Turn my kids into cold blooded killers. Everybody can do it. Um, even if you're all pro all the creatures of the world and such, no, they've gotta be taken out because odds are you're a tree hugger, they kill our trees. Psycho Dude Dad. If you like what we're doing, click like, subscribe, helps us out. Peace.